hello everyone, my name is Playton, and welcome back to another video. So, uh, today I painted these cute little mushroom guys and cut them out, then did a little photo shoot. So, uh, stick around till the end to see that. I'm just gonna quickly, so <laughs> I didn't plan on recording today because the lighting was kind of bad, but I just got the idea for one of the sets and I'm just gonna quickly do it right now. Okay, so in this first set, I painted Mary and the Mushroom Family Cottage. I love painting houses in this perspective. I don't even know what it's called. I, I, I just see it a lot in side-scrolling games like Night in the Woods. Uh, anyways, uh, today you guys are going to meet four little mushroom people as they prepare for the ending of summer and the beginning of fall. They all prepare for the changing of seasons in different ways. So uh, I hope you're excited to meet them all. <laughs> The first little friend we are meeting today is Mary. Mary is an Amanetta muscaria, commonly called fly agaric. You probably know her as a fairy mushroom. Today, she takes her wicker basket into the world and searches for the last flowers of summer. She loves to keep them in the cottage for decoration as she is very keen of fall and loves the little reminder of the eventual spring and the return of bright green leaves and the brilliant sunset-esque gradient of black-eyed Susans. She is prepared to go anywhere to fill her basket. Hi, um, it's the next day now, and I'm gonna be doing the second little set of mushroom guys. Uh, lighting's still not really amazing, and I'm still using the Walmart webcam, but you know what, we're, we're gonna make it work. The next two little fellows we're meeting are Bella and Shy. Bella is an Argaric Bisporius, commonly called Portobello, and Shy is a Lentinuda Entodotus, commonly called Shiitake. Bella, the smallest member of the family, and Shy, the tallest, are inseparable. They spend their last moments of summer together trying to break their last year's height record. In the last few weeks of summer, they spend every hour climbing higher and higher to beat their previous score. Bella, though small, is incredibly strong-willed and ready to tackle any challenge, while Shy, on the other hand, is reserved, quiet, but great at planning out the climbing routes. The two decorate their bedroom with little souvenirs from their expeditions, like acorns, leaves, and slivers of bark. Once, they brought back a caterpillar's chrysalis, and Mary had to, one, explain to them what a chrysalis is, two, explain to them why it was rude to move it, and three, tell them, no, you can't keep it as a pet.
our final friend we have the pleasure of meeting today is Maurice. Maurice is a Morichella escrilenta, commonly called Morel. Maurice loves science, which is odd for a sentient mushroom creature, but he's found a rational explanation for the existence of him and his family. He spends most of the summer cataloging the native flora and fauna around him. Because of this, his favorite pastime of indulging in fantasy literature takes a backseat until summer ends. During this time, he likes to cram tons of stories about dragons, elves, witches, and werewolves, the things he wishes were in this world, and maybe are. It's a big place, and he's only filled a couple journals about the nature that surrounds his home. Maybe one day he'll discover something so fantastical that his family will think he's had his head in those books too much. After I got them all finished, I cut them out with a box cutter because I have no idea where my exacto knife is. I feel like if I had a camera and like a better microphone, like a second camera and a better microphone, I feel like this would be such good ASMR, like just the, the cutting of the paper and like some really nice camera angles. Anyway, I can't do that right now, <laughs> but wouldn't it be nice? Okay. I attached some toothpicks to the back of them with some pretty shoddy glue, just an Elmer's craft glue that I had, and then it was time to see them in the wild.